A STATE OF EMERGENCY NOW BEING DECLARED IN NORTH CAROLINA AFTER A SECOND NIGHT OF VIOLENT PROTESTS THERE. IT COMES IN THE WAKE OF THE FATAL POLICE SHOOTING OF KEITH SCOTT. NOW FAMILY MEMBERS AND WITNESSES ARE ARGUING WITH POLICE OVER THE EVENTS LEADING UP TO THAT SHOOTING. ABC'S MAGGIE RUBY HAS THE LATEST. ANGER AND VIOLENCE TAKING OVER THE STREETS OF CHARLOTTE. AT LEAST FOUR POLICE OFFICERS ARE INJURED. And this morning, one protester's on life support after being shot in the head, police say, by another civilian. The protest started peacefully, but quickly turned chaotic. Hundreds of protesters faced off against police in riot gear, some throwing fireworks. The police firing back with flash grenades and tear gas. The governor has declared a state of emergency. Anger is building here in Charlotte over two starkly different stories of how Keith Scott died. The police say they confronted Scott inside an apartment complex and were forced to shoot. Mr. Scott exited his vehicle armed with a handgun as the officers continued to yell at him to drop it. Police say a gun was recovered. His family says that's not true and claim it wasn't a gun, it was a book. Pow, 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 pow. That's it. He had no gun. Now a neighbor who says she was there also says there was no gun. A book that fell off his lap. He didn't get out waving no gun. He didn't have a gun in his hand. He didn't get out like this. He got out like this. The officer involved in the shooting, Brentley Vincent, is also black. Oftentimes we try to make it a white-black issue. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. It's the, what you represent. Um, it's the uniform you represent. And so we're trying to make it black or white, but it's really bigger than just being black and white. There is dash and body cam footage of the shooting, but police say they're refusing to release that video until after the investigation, only angering some protesters even more. Maggie Rooley, ABC News, Charlotte.